All right, welcome to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. But now let's get right in today's update, which is regarding none other than Caspa. You know, speaking about Caspa token, you know, the amount of love that you guys have showed me over the past, you know, few weeks, and the amount of comments that I usually get that people want to see Caspa updates on a continuous basis is absolutely insane. So, you know, today's the day where I give you guys that update that you guys are waiting for and if you really smash that like button and get it over 120,000 likes I will uh, you know start giving you guys more Caspa updates so you know sit back relax and enjoy the show but before we get in just as always a quick disclaimer that anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency so looking at the price of Caspa 3.6 cents you know down about 3.2 percent in both comparatives USD and and BTC looking at its market cap currently sitting at 724.3 million dollars and the 24-hour trading volume currently sitting at 18.7 million you know if you're new to the market just um, I'm sorry if you're new to uh, Caspa not really familiar as to what this project is all about um, you know this project is a layer one and um, you know it has a ghost chain you know quite a unique project compared to the other layer ones because at the end of the day you know to be quite frank with you all the layer ones are are, you know unique in their own aspect and you know caspa has really gained its traction over the past you know few months and is the biggest performer in the top 100 coins as for um you know if we take obviously the 12 months uh into consideration uh, but you know if we're looking at the markets if you're new i'm sure you guys want to be knowing where it's listed it is listed on mexcgate.io but it is missing the big boys but you know as i've said in my other updates i think you know we're going to see some bigger exchanges come and start listing it. and of course that is going to bring in more liquidity and you guys know when more liquidity comes more people have access to it and of course exchanges also do some buybacks so you know the exposure and the growth potential even gets higher when that happens but now let's look at what's happening for caspa as of today so obviously caspa is down about 2.9 percent and now you may be looking at it and saying crypto zx the entire market is up right now but caspa is down 2.9 percent oh my gosh you know this is not good but relax guys let's look at it on the weekly time frame where does caspa rank with the other projects in the uh, top 100 coins so let's Let's look at it it's up 6.7 percent now let's take it to the month let's take it to the monthly time frame and we could see it's up 38.4 percent and now you may be saying crypto zx still nothing exciting we're seeing solana we're seeing um xdc all, all these coins outperforming caspa on the monthly side but what if i tell you let's take a look at the yearly look who comes on top seven thousand percent over the past 12 months you know during the bear cycle and you know speaking about this Every bull cycle, every now and then there will be some projects that come and do really, really good throughout the bear market and, you know, have a crazy bull market. And I'm projecting that Caspa is going to be one of them. And in this update, I'm going to be sharing my personal thoughts and what my personal strategy is for Caspa. I've explained to you guys in my other updates, I don't own Caspa. Reason as to why I don't own Caspa is because, you know, I was waiting, you know, when it was around that two cents more. I was waiting. Hey, you know what? I'm going to be accumulating when it drops a little bit more. But guess what? I missed the boat. But I'm still going to enter and I'm going to share exactly when I'm entering. Again, that's my own personal strategy. And that's not something I want you guys to copy. I'm just giving you guys my personal thoughts and what I'm going to be doing because obviously people are interested in knowing how, um, you know, my strategy is going to be. So let's take a look at that. So if we're looking at the price right now, you know, if we're looking at the price of Caspa and now if this chart is able to load, that would be great. Look at that. There you go. <laughs> All right. Oh, gosh. It's being super, super laggy. Um, let me see there. Let me see on the hourly. Oh, gosh. Okay, there we go. We're, we're good, guys. All right, so you know what? We need to bring the volume indicator. There we go. Add that in. There we go. All right, so look at this chart. Beautiful chart. Like, you know, whenever I'm looking at this chart, this is what you call beauty. I'm sure everyone right now is saying crypto ZX, you know, we're not seeing it hit a new all time high. You know, this is not exciting at all. But you know what I want you guys to focus is this 
like literally see how beautifully this project has seen a gain. Um, you know, if you were picking it up back on this level after it had a massive retracement back on May, it went up to that 1.1 cents mark. I regret not picking it up around there. Um, but if you got in around there, you could see Caspa performed really, really good. It's up 200% since then. And just a few days back, you know, Caspa did hit a new, um, you know, monthly, I'm sorry, not, not a new yearly high. Don't quote me on that. Almost it hit a new yearly high, uh, but an all time high and an all time high. And it's not even listed on these tier one exchanges. So speculation out there is going that Binance or possibly Coinbase are picking it up. And they potentially could be, you know, they potentially could be. But remember what happened last bull cycle. You know, a lot of people tend to forget what happened last cycle. You know, we saw a lot of layer ones, layer twos literally be the most talked about, you know, projects, obviously after, um, no, not even after, to be honest, they were the ones that were being talked about and the interest was coming in from the big boys, the institutions. And what makes us say that that's not happening this time around as well? We could be seeing a lot of institutional interest behind the scenes that we're not aware of because the move that we're seeing recently is insane. And look where the price is holding. Let me see something. Let's bring out. Um, where did it go? Cool. Never mind. You know, actually, let's leave it at that. But look where the price is currently sitting at, guys. Literally on the support which was the resistance for us, but now it's being supported by here. You may be saying Crypto ZX, you know, it's not pumping. It's not sitting a new all time high. What exactly is going on? Let's go on the daily time frame. Let me show you guys something, you know, since it's yearly high um, and it's all time high, we're only down. Oh my God, this is so laggy. I'm not enjoying this. I really, really apologize. This never happens. I'm not sure what's going on. But basically, it's down about only 20% since its all-time high, which is insane. It's looking great. Interest is building up like, you know, we haven't seen before, especially for Caspa. More and more people are talking about Caspa than they were compared to the beginning of the year. And at the beginning of the year, Caspa was worth way less compared to where it's at now. So, you know, the overall hype factor is there. And I've told you guys from the beginning, hype factor is one of the most important factors when it comes to a project's success in the long haul. And, you know, everything looks great. I can't see any flaw as of now. Obviously, you know, one thing that they can focus on more is, you know, more exchange listings, especially tier one exchanges. But I think that is going to happen. We've seen obviously similarities with other layer ones, other layer twos, last bull cycle that did insane. You know, if you guys are aware of Phantom, if you guys follow me on my channel. I've told you guys how I missed out on Phantom as well. I had, and I did not miss out. I had a big, big stack of Phantom early on, way before, you know, way before it even hit a $100 million market cap. Me and my friends, you know, crypto friends, you know, we were buying, you know, Phantom, and I lost patience. I lost my patience. I did make profits, don't get me wrong, but if I were to have held my positions till the all-time high, or even, you know, had a little bit more patience, I would have been a millionaire by now. Uh, there's no question. And there's other projects that I've missed too. But, you know, you learn over time. And the newcomers that are coming in the markets, I want you guys to learn from my mistakes. So what you guys want to be doing right now is you guys want to be having an exit strategy in place. I'm sure, you know, there are times where you see a certain project mooning. You want to be tempted to get into that. But never... FOMO in always, always just have an exit strategy where, you know, you are able to the positions that you have. If you have Caspa, build an exit strategy and stick to that exit strategy. You know, let's say you think the dollar is a prediction or dollar 20 is a prediction or even if everyone has their own predictions. But that does not mean you're just waiting for that price to come true and then you lock it out. No, you want to be scaling your positions out as the market is moving towards the upside and that's where um, exit strategy really comes into hand. But what is my plan for Caspa? As mentioned earlier, I don't own any Caspa, but that does not mean I'm not going to be owning some. I have very close eyes on Caspa right now. And, you know, I was really thinking about, you know, when I should enter, you know, is there going to be an entry level? 
Remember, Caspa is looking insane. So it could even be higher when I enter. But I still believe as long as I'm able to get into Caspa before this year comes to an end, I think my entry will be okay. And also, I have my close eyes on BTC. At the end of the day, we know Caspa has outperformed Bitcoin by a huge, huge margin. But remember, Bitcoin has been showing us a little bit of a weakness lately. You know, it's been in a downward trend. Of course, dominance has dropped a bit. You know, this is a great sign for Caspa along with other altcoins. But Bitcoin is showing weakness. And if Bitcoin loses this support line, we could possibly see Bitcoin going down to this level at 78.6. And if that were lost, we could even see BTC hitting that 26K range. And some people are talking about that. If that happens, you know, Caspa is going to react. There's no question. But what my strategy is that maybe I'm just going to go you know, fully uh, in with whatever I can afford to lose. Again, you know, that's, um, I'm not going to disclose that. But if that were the case, maybe before the year comes to an end, um, I will be, you know, either dollar cost averaging in or just buying it at one time. And I'm just going to hold that position. I'm not buying any more Caspa next year. It's only 2023 where I'm going to scale in. And once I have scaled in, I'm just going to hodl and then I'm going to come up with an exit strategy. So I will make an announcement when that, uh, you know, position is in for Caspa. As of now, I'm going, I'm being very transparent. Reason as to why I'm, you know, giving you guys and I give you updates on some coins that I don't hold. Of course, you know, I'm a technical analysis. I consider, um, you know, myself one of those and, you know, obviously a crypto enthusiast and I give my personal opinions on certain projects. So you know, everything I say is my opinion. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. So you always want to be doing your due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. But nonetheless, it's no secret at this point that this project has a lot of potential in terms of if we're comparing it with previous uh, layer ones and layer twos. And the way this project is reacting is the way we want this project to react. So uh, let me know down below what you guys think. Let me know if your positions are fully ready to go, give me suggestions what I should do, how I should scale in. Let me know in the comment section. I want to hear from you guys. Love you all. See you tomorrow. I've been Crypto ZX and peace out.